Hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you with another No Frills commentary from a singer. Tonight we were watching The Voice. It was only an hour show. They only have one more battle round to go. <sighs> it's about time. I'm ready to get on to the knockout rounds, ready to move forward. But we still have a few good battles that are happening. So let me tell you about what happened tonight. We started out with Team CeeLo. It was Alexis Marceau versus Daniel Rosa. They did What Do You Want From Me by Adam Lambert. So Daniel was getting nervous and losing a little confidence in the first rehearsal. And we got the too clean comment. If you see some of my other commentaries, if you see some of my other commentaries, you see every judge so far has given a too clean comment. And Except for Rob Thomas. He hasn't given one. Maybe, no, it's been two different ones so far that they've given it. Now Rob Thomas is giving it. Um, but he was talking about uh, Alexis being a little too clean, a little too placed with her stuff. That has not happened on even one of the commentaries in the last few, uh, what you call it, seasons. And suddenly it's happening with every single judge. So somebody's telling him to talk about somebody being too clean. I don't know what's going on. I wrote, it's like it's floating around. In the second rehearsal, Daniel was worried about hitting the high notes. <sighs> he was just worried. He was just, he was, he was kvetching. <laughs> In the battle, they were well matched in this battle, I wrote. Um, Daniel brought a lot of passion and pathos to his performance, but was really on the edge of his vocals. And it, it gave it a nice feeling, though. Alexis was pretty much up in his face, and her vocal was really on point. And I wrote, from his gruff to her perfection was a nice contrast during the performance. Adam says he likes how Daniel sing with all his soul. While Christina talked about Daniel turning his performance out to the audience more. She was saying it's a little too internal that he should have, you know, shared it a little bit more with the audience and she really wanted him to like bring it out a little more. So CeeLo chose Daniel. He said because he connected with him better. And he kept on harping all the whole time on Alexis's classical training, which seemed to be like some kind of bad thing but he did say that with her classical training at the end he said with her classical training she could do anything with her voice so that was I guess a good thing next up we had team Adam and it was Brandon Mahone versus Nicole Nelson they did ain't no mountain high enough Marvin Gaye Tammy Terrell and Brandon was a little overwhelmed by Nicole during the first rehearsal I mean he was just really like <sighs> It, 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 just in awe, really, you know? Because she was blowing it out. She was sounding good. She knew the song well. She said she's done it so many times. So he was a little nervous, you know? He's like, oh my God, she's just really killing it. And it continued. In the second rehearsal, I didn't write this down, but he came and brought it a little strong. And Adam told Nicole, you know, less is more with her because she has all of this. And he just wanted her to pull it back a little bit. So in performance, I wrote, I figured this was going to be great because they have both have such stellar voices. But for me, it was lacking just a little bit of spark for some reason. It, it just seemed a little tame, you know? Um, they both sounded good to me, and Nicole was laying right into the notes beautifully. I mean, she was just really doing it. But even she seemed to have be pulling back quite a bit, kind of holding it in, and not really like giving it the full treatment okay so they seemed to get a little more into it near the end of the song as they went along but then it was over <laughs> Blake called Nicole a diva and said he'd choose her as did Christina she said the same thing Adam chose Nicole and then he went up on stage to hug both of them, which was really nice. Adam ended up choosing Nicole because he said he wanted to see a little restraint from her and she actually nailed it. She was holding it back because he had told her to and he actually loved her because she held it back and he saw that she could have some control and just not be all out there. So that was a good thing on her part. But to me, it still seemed a little too controlled. You know what I'm saying? So next they flashed a few quick performances. Ryan Scartochi versus Lauren Allred and Adam chose Lauren. Ryan Jirovic versus Cassidy Pope and, they ch and Blake chose Cassidy. Joe Kirkton versus Samuel Mooton and Adam chose Joe. Just flashed them right on through because you know they only had an hour and they wanted to get rid of it, get done with it, so they just flashed them on through. Then we came up to the last battle of the night, which was Team Extina, and we had Devin Delora versus Marissa Ann. They did Free Your Mind by In Vogue. Of course, this started out with some big notes, and 
they jumped all up in each other's face, right? I thought they were both pretty strong and not overdoing the vocals. Because when I was in the neighborhood rehearsal, I thought, oh my God, this is going to be a scream fest. But it wasn't. They really kept it reined in a little bit and they really did their thing. Marissa Ann had a little more fierceness going on in her performance when she was tossing her hair. And the first time it was fine, but after that, it got to be a little bit too much, you know, for me anyway. While Devin seemed to be struggling a little bit to get on top of her notes and her breath. So I was like, hmm, you know, there's goods and bad about each one. But Christina chose Devin to win it. And the steal came in and Blake ended up picking up Marissa Ann, which I think was a good thing because she's young and she was showing a lot of potential. This is Robert Anton, RobertAnton.com. I hope you enjoyed the commentary. Make sure to thumb it up if you enjoyed it. I know it was kind of short. I hope it was kind of short because it was only an hour show. And we will be moving on tomorrow to the last, the final battle round. I am out. Peace. Versus Marissa Ann. Uh. <laughs>